Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with part 22 of the Bloodborne full playthrough walkthrough. In this segment, we are going to be finally starting the DLC after having completed everything in the main game, including all the story chalice dungeons. Uh, as a result, I'm probably higher level than you are. I'm currently level 158. So this is, it's still hard. The DLC is still hard, I want to say that, but I'm probably going to cut through enemies a lot faster than you can, unless you're the same level as me and you've been following along almost exactly. If so, great. Uh, if you've never joined me for these walkthroughs, this is a Let's Play style walkthrough where I'm recording as I plan as I talk. So it's just sort of like a casual setting. Uh, I'm here to make what is seen as a really hard game, I'm trying to make it easier for you. So just follow along and you shouldn't have too much problems. Too many problems, I should say. All right, showing you my stats. Like I said, level 158, 50 vitality, 40 endurance, 23 strength, 50 skill, 20 blood tinge, and 25 arcane. I don't know why I have 20 blood tinge, that's weird. I think I mistakenly put points in there. Um, anyway, so I'm currently at the vitality cap, currently at the endurance cap, as well as the skill cap. So from here on out, I'm gonna be putting points into arcane, uh, and that is because I'm using the Blades of Mercy, which have uh, B scaling on arcane, as well as S on skill, so to get some more damage out of those. Uh, I'm currently using the Bone Ash set, but we may change that as, uh, as things progress. I have some sedatives on my quick bar, because uh, some enemies do deal frenzy in the nightmare, so you want to be careful with that. I also have some antidotes, so let's go ahead and remove all that. All right, great. So in order to access the DLC, one, you need to own it. So if you don't already, if you're in America, it's only offered digitally. It's filed under Bloodborne, the Old Hunters. If you're in Europe, there is a Game of the Year edition, which includes it on the disc. Unfortunately, that never came to the States. Uh, if it had, I would have bought it. I actually own this game in two different forms. Believe it or not, I have a digital version that I got for the midnight release, and then I have a physical version for the collector's edition. Um, Europe had an insane collector's edition. I don't mean to get off on too much of a tangent, but Europe had an insane collector's edition of this game um, on release, not just for old hunters, but it looked like a, like a stack of encyclopedias, <laughs> and it came with like a feather quill and like blood vials and all sorts of cool stuff. Anywho, so once you've purchased the DLC, you need to have progressed through the game and transitioned the time of day to night. So get to Cathedral Ward, kill Vicar Amelia, and then touch Lawrence's skull on the altar to view the old adage cutscene. And then once it becomes nighttime, this item will appear here in the Hunter's Dream as long as you have the DLC. And this is the Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter, which beckons hunters to the nightmare, to the hunter's nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside Odin Chapel. And if you look closely, I hate these motion controlled emotes. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, if you look closely at the eye of the blood drunk hunter, uh, where is it? There it is. If you look closely at this eye, uh, it's going to look somewhat familiar if you saw the launch trailer or maybe the full reveal trailer. It was, uh, we're basically, I think it's actually in the opening cutscene of the game too, where the hunter puts a, a, a gun to a, a villager's head and it sort of zooms in on the eye. It's basically the same eye. Okay, so with that out of the way, we now have the eye. So let's go to Cathedral Ward's lamp. And then you do not need to have the Blood Moon uh, out. It could be nighttime. And you do not need to be able to see the amygdala on the wall, but uh, it'll still work either way. So if you have no insight or it's still nighttime, don't worry about it. All right. I'm gonna leave the corpse of the old woman there, but there's an amygdala on this building here. So let's go ahead and stand, I think here? Where is it? Over here, actually, I think. Yeah, so as long as you have the Eye of the Blood Drug Hunter, you will be sucked up and brought to the nightmare. If you don't have the eye, you will die. So very important that you have the eye. Cursed Athens, their children too. And their children forever true. So I think that's supposed to be, um, I don't know if that's supposed to be Lady Maria or if that's just supposed to be a villager. I'm, I was never sure about that. Um, but in The Hunter's Nightmare, there's a lot of eldritch secrets to uncover here. 
And the intro of The Hunter's Nightmare is going to look very familiar to you. It's literally Cathedral Ward, just without the Odin Chapel Dweller. Um, so you have a door here that leads somewhere. That opens from the other side. There's no exit on this side, so we kind of have only one way to go. And that's right out here. So obviously things look crazy different. The sky looks like the blood, hunt, blood drunk hunter's eye. Um, and we just got to go up. So we have a couple choices here. Um, I'm going to go this way first. We're going to go up this ramp because we have to unlock the gate from the other side anyway. Uh, you want to be very careful here in the Hunter's Nightmare because, as it as the name implies, there's a lot of hunters around. And our first one that we see is right here. And the hunters of the DLC use really old weapons that... Um, you know, this sort of takes place in the past, so the weapons are not as nearly refined. Oh, I don't have my gun out. Uh, the weapons of this time period are not refined, so they're very rough. So this is the Beast Hunter's Whip, I think it's called. And, you know, it's just a, a machination of, uh, of metal. And, it, you know, it's not nearly as refined as a threaded cane. We'll say that. So we could drop here. And we got the old hunter's gloves. We will be piecing together the old hunter's set very quickly here. It's actually all available in this first area. So starting off the DLC, we get an armor set pretty quick. All right, so I don't recommend uh, dropping down there just yet because we got to open up the gauge from the other side anyway. Okay, so you always want to be on the lookout because the hunters will be fighting the villagers and you just want to sort of let that happen. And you will, you will gain the souls of the villagers that they kill. Okay, just checking here. Didn't want to get ambushed. Let's grab this treasure. Level 9 Frenzied Cold Blood. Let's come over here. I'm going to continue up. The dogs are not yet zombies. They're real dogs, just covered in blood now. Alright, we got a corpse here. Some twin Bloodstone Shards. And then eventually a hunter is going to come down into the town square and start... Oh man, their voices are so sick. Alright. So yeah, the, there's a hunter down there now. He's he's putting in the work. You, you can hear him. He's down here. Anyway, there's somebody down there putting in work, so... We'll go say hello to him in a little while. So this is the gate that we have to open. Uh, but before we do that, I want to come up here... I just want to make sure that there's you know, there's a corpse over there. First, I'm going to come down here, and there's going to be some villagers over here. These guys are passive, um, but they reward souls, so go for it or blood echoes rather. And now we can open up this gate. But oh god, I don't have my dual blades out. But always be wary of the crows. Okay. Open this gate up, but don't forget there's a hunter on the other side, so take care of him. He's got a big scattershot blunderbuss, as well as the beast hunter's whip. I don't actually know if that's the name of this weapon. Believe it or not, I kind of forgot what the name was. Yeah, pairing this thing is almost as annoying as pairing the threaded cane. Oh, god damn. Okay. Well, he's dead. He always drops vials, so in case you need to farm vials, he's a he's a good choice. Now we got the old hunter cap, and then I'm just gonna run down here really quick and make sure we didn't miss any treasures. Nope. Okay, good. All right, so let's head back to the plaza, a little town square area. First time I did this DLC was on New Game Plus Four, and that really was not fun at all. All right, we missed a treasure there that we got to drop down to. That's okay. Let's grab that real quick. I think it's just shards. I don't think it's anything special. But I don't want to miss nothing. Let's carefully slide down here. Oh, it's the old hunter trousers. Okay, good. Alright. Let's come over here. Oh, I totally did not see this guy. That was crazy. Alright. And we got some blood vials here. 
And now it's time to sort of put in the work in the town square. So yeah, you see this whip hunter there? He's just... He knows these villagers are up there, and it's it's so sad because, you know, Jura throughout your adventure in Old Yarnum tells you these people are not beasts, you know? They're they're just people, so you should leave them alone. Anyway, we have a boom hammer, boom hammer hunter here, and we will get that weapon soon enough, so don't worry. He's got a little bit more health. Oh, this is a red-eye hunter, so this guy actually is going to drop vermin for us, I believe. Yep. Yeah, so he drops vermin. And let me just kill this hunter over here, because he's making so much damn noise. Um, the Beast Cutter, that's the name of the weapon. Okay. So, vermin is an item um, that was added when the DLC came out. And basically... Ooh, yikes. Yeah, I always forget about the booby traps. Uh, the old hunters were very big on booby traps, so... There's a floor switch here, and then if you look closely, there's a gatling gun over here. This is like a remote-controlled gatling gun. So, you can break these, though. We're gonna get real familiar with them later on. Um, but vermin was added in the DLC, and basically what vermin does is it's sort of like a covenant item to use with Valter, who is now in the, uh... in the woods, in the, uh, Forbidden Woods. So if you bring him five you are able to get uh, his helmet. And then his summon actually changes. Uh, you can summon him for a couple fights in the DLC. Uh, a couple very tough bosses. Um, and yeah, his summon actually changes. So when he gives you his helmet uh, as a gift for bringing him five vermin, um, you it, he no longer is wearing the helmet when summoned. It, it's a pretty neat little change. All right, twin bloodstone shards, and let's clear out the plaza here. That's enough about Valter. Um, I won't be summoning help here in the DLC, just because um, I just assume that you won't. I want to show you that everything's possible, you know, without needing to summon help or anything like that. But, oh god, there he is. I was wondering where this guy was. So, unfortunately, even though we're both killing beasts here, he will never see us as friendly. Oh boy. Yeah, you don't ever want to get in the corner with this guy. Alright. Okay. So, um, like I was saying... I actually completely forgot what I was saying, believe it or not. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, right. So even though we're both killing beasts, or villagers really, he will never become friendly. The old hunters are always vicious. Okay. Most of the time, these villagers are passive, because, you know, like I said, Jura was right. He, he didn't have to attack these people. They just were tricked. Okay, let's get some more blood vials. I'm glad we're already back up to 41 inside. I spent, I spent inside on a blood rock the other day, because I was at like 97 or something like that. Okay, cool. So we're done here. Let's go ahead and go back up the ramp. Okay, very good. And now let's continue. So we've cleared out the plaza. We've opened the shortcut gate uh, down here. So now we can just head up here towards the Grand Cathedral. Like I said, things, things are going to look familiar for a while, um, but then they start to get different. Let's just say that. But it's just to allow you to get your bearings, or feel like you're getting your bearings. Um, there is a boulder that will drop down here. If you're lucky, it'll kill a lot of these guys, but most of the time it won't. Okay. And there's a couple of dudes up there. A couple of villagers that we'll take care of. Alright, so since we just picked up all the old hunter set, why don't we, uh, why don't we do some RP, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll join the, uh, We'll join the old hunters for a little bit. The The gear is not good, so <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to wear this. Look at that. Look at us. So sick. I feel like we have enough health to support this decision. 
Okay, cool. So there's going to be a couple of villagers up here. Um, and they're trying to get into the Grand Cathedral. But something's about to come out. Yeah. So, believe it or not, these guys have a small chance of actually killing this thing. Obviously, they're not very good at it. Um, however, that can happen. These enemies are no joke. And they can also do this. Where if you get caught in that, you get slowed. And it's almost a guaranteed death. They are parryable. But, you gotta be really fast. Actually, this guy's dying a lot faster than I kind of thought he would. Yeah, I think I'm just so high level. I remember those guys being very menacing. The first time I did the DLC was New Game Plus 4. So that was not fun. So my... I won't say that my experience is jaded or anything, but my first romp through the Hunter's Nightmare was a literal nightmare. Okay, so here in the Grand Cathedral, we're just coming in here for an item for now. Um, I have debated not coming here for this item yet, but it's a pretty obvious place, so we may as well show up. Uh, there is... So this is where we fought Vicar Amelia, and below here is where we fought Abratos, Daughter of the Cosmos. Um, and in our world, or in Yarnum, I should say, um, there was a skull here, and the skull was uh, Lawrence. And so... Instead, here in the Hunter's Nightmare, we have the Eye Pendant uh, in the hand of what looks like a Cleric Beast. Uh, we're going to come back here much later, because believe it or not, this is a boss, but we can't activate him just yet. So, with the Eye Pendant in tow, uh, we're not actually going to use that item until the next part of the guide, but it's important to get it now, because honestly, God, there's no quick way back here without having to deal with some enemies. Um, so I decided, you know, when I was planning this out, I'll just get it now. All right, so moving on down here towards the church uh, where we were whisked away to the nightmare frontier. This is where things start to get very different. So we're going to come up to a bridge here that has a lot of, first of all, just, I mean, soak this in, right? Soak this in. This is just beautiful. Oh my God. It just looks unbelievable. Okay, so we're at, we come to a bridge here. And this bridge has a number of hunters, or a number of villagers, I should say. Um, and you can see that he's got a, a machine gun over there. And so what we have to do is we have to pay close attention to where the bullets are hitting, and then sort of run for cover, as Brandon Flowers says. Okay, so once we get here, we see a second one activates that goes over there. So what we need to do is we need to hide behind uh, that fallen amygdala head, so once the gun shoots, just come over here. And then you may be tempted to just walk forward, um, but we actually stepped on a booby trap here. I'm glad I did that and didn't die. Uh, you may be able to make it if you run forward here, but you can actually just sort of duck through here. Oh no, you can't. Oh my God, I really thought you could do that. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna run straight across, and then we're gonna break this gun, and then this is going to allow us uh, a path forward, because really nothing comes over here. So, just come over here. Go ahead and break the third gun just in case. And then, there's going to be a villager here. Oh, right. I, I am not super familiar with that booby trap. Okay, so a boom hammer hunter is going to show up now. Along with a couple of villagers, so we have to be careful here. The boom hammer hunter has a tendency to run and jump and try to murder you, so you got to be really quick here. Luckily, I'm high level, so, you know, that's okay. Um, I believe that somebody will also throw Molotovs on this bridge, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, I think there's actually, like, booby-trapped Molotovs here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so he throws it, and you can hear it. You can hear, like, a, a timer, and that's basically a, a time bomb. So it's like a delayed fuse. So you just got to watch out for those. All right, so we're going to come down here first. There is a villager here with his timed TNTs. Just like that. Okay. And then there's a treasure here. And in here is just a giant river of blood with a lot of blood letters. And that's 
I don't know, like, the actual reason for this river of blood. I, blood liquors contextually only show up where there's been a lot of bloodshed. Um, so I assume that this is just a river of blood from all the hunting. Because, um, obviously, th th the sort of story behind the Hunter's Nightmare is that if somebody gets so crazed from hunting for too long, they get whisked away to this nightmare. Okay, so in this house that is pretty much on stilts here, it's just crooked, uh, we can... Yeah, there's going to be a guy who comes up the stairs. I was waiting for him. Then there's another guy over here. We'll take care of him real fast. But there's a treasure over here for us. A delayed Molotov of our own. And you can jump out here if you want, but this is going to lead you to the River of Blood, so I don't recommend doing that just yet. Instead, we're going to come down here. And there's going to be a guy here. And then we're going to walk over here, and then a... A TNT sort of delayed fuse is going to show up. It's on this guy's corpse. So yeah, you can just run away. And there's tons of oil barrels here, which will kill you. Um, but he is guarding the boom hammer. So the boom hammer is a really, really gnarly weapon. Um, okay, I can wield it so I can at least show it to you. Uh, the boom hammer is a lot of fun. So you just sort of whip it around... Uh, the R1 can be, the R2 can be charged. And that's just a slam down. The transformation, however, you light the f the coal inside, and then everything you do now has bonus fire damage. So, unfortunately, you have to light it every time you want to do that. Um, but it's a cool weapon. Um, I don't ever use it. It's not necessarily the strongest weapon that was added in the DLC, but it's still a lot of fun. Okay, so now we have a choice. We can go down to the River of Blood. Um, and actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this this item from before. Sorry, I missed the stairs. There's a bit of glare on my screen. So if I sort of walk into a wall for a prolonged period of time, that's why. So we can drop down here, grab this treasure, the old hunter top hat. And then I'm actually just going to run back into the building really fast. I'm not going to deal with the River of Blood right now. We're going to come here later. Hopefully I didn't aggro a blood liquor. I did. Okay, so... Eh, she's moving away. Okay, so through here is a challenging fight with a hunter who's using the Beast Claws. But he's guarding a badge. So. He's gonna transform and scream. Oh, whoops. Thought I had my weapon, my gun out. He is parryable. He's just really fast. As you can tell, I think I could just go in on him. Yeah. Oh man, the damage. Oh, yikes. Yeah, and he's using a beast blood pellet, so he... That sort of steam sound you're hearing, basically the more damage he does to you, the more damage he does to you. So... I know that sounds kind of dumb, but uh, basically, beast blood pellets, they're, they're an item that you can use. Um, and it makes it so the more damage you do, you get like a, an additional damage buff. So whenever you hear that sort of hissing sound, that's your cue to really avoid <laughs> the enemy at all costs. And just try to deal with them uh, safely. Okay, so he sells the firing hammer badge, which I cannot remember what that gives you. So let me just look that up real quick. Firing Hammer Badge. Um, unlocks the Piercing Rifle, the Delayed Molotov, and the Delayed Rope Molotov. Okay, so a weapon and two items. Yeah, I don't understand these emotes. Okay, now that Hunter's dead, he's a kill once enemy, but we can come over here for... Uh, oh, there's no treasure over here? I could have sworn there's a treasure over here. Okay, no big deal. Okay, so now let's go to the River of Blood. And, I mean, this DLC is called the Old Hunters for a reason. There's a lot of hunters here. Um, so the next one we're going to fight is a Gatling Gun Hunter. Um, unless I can't find enough bullets to do so. But, let's start clearing this out. Blood Luckers cannot be parried, they cannot be backstabbed. So, you have to fight them very, very carefully. Um, believe it or not, I, th no, I don't want the Boom Hammer. I think I'm going to take out my Hunter Axe and see how this fares. Um, just because I want to be able to, like, knock these guys down. 
Um, you know, maybe I'll just be able to deal enough damage. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Get a frenzy cold blood. Warm, damp blood gem. And then go ahead and fight this guy. Yeah, these guys just, like, cannot be staggered. It's just obnoxious. Hello. Take one more hit, please. Ooh, 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 ooh. You trying to poison me now? Is that the name of the game? All right. So we're going to make our way down the river. Down, down, down the river. And we're going to go into a cave. And the cave... Oh, God. Oh, now there's two of them. This is really unfortunate. I thought I would be able to just fight the one. Okay, well, the other one gave up, so that's nice. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, go drink your blood. Alright. Cool. So, like I said, we're going to head into a cave. And in this cave is going to be a hunter wielding one of the craziest weapons in Bloodborne, the minigun. Oh, there's a wandering nightmare there. Just be careful when trying to kill this wandering nightmare because the hunter may aggro to you. Okay. Nice bloodstone chunk. Okay, so the Gatling gun hunter is in here. Or the, I'm not sure if it's a minigun or a Gatling gun, but basically you can use this rock to your advantage. Uh, he will stop firing eventually. But he has a, uh, a, a saw cleaver, I think. Either that or a, a saw. Yeah, I think it's a saw cleaver. Um, oh, God. But we can overpower him. Not too difficult. But, yeah, he'll just rip out the Gatling gun again if you're not careful. So just heal up. Give him a second. Oh, God. He is parryable. Yeah, he's got a saw spear. All right. So because I'm so high level, that was really easy. But the trick is to just keep circling around the rock and find an opening. Killing him, you get the Gatling gun. Which, I mean, how nice, right? Then we can explore this cave a little bit. But be careful because there's a blood-starved beast in here. Yes, you heard that correctly. All right, so we're going to bring out some blood bullets. And then... There's this guy here on this perch. We can get a backstab on him. And I think the Bloodstar Beast is just guarding a blood gem, but that's okay. This is a full walker. Oh, yeah, I thought I heard footsteps. <clears throat> that scared me. Let's just do the classic torch here, right? All right, so the Bloodstar Beast aggroes from quite far away. So just be ready. Oh, you should, I should really equip, I'm gonna run out and equip uh, Punch and Blood Cocktail, just make this way easier on myself. Is this thing, is this thing still following? close. transformed. Did it just run through the wall? Well, I think it just went through a wall. So that's interesting and fun. Um, anyway. Yeah. It's guarding these. Oh, it's guarding the Amygdalan arm, which is another cool weapon. Oh, the Amygdalan arm. So, this thing is like a literal arm. 
and uh, it transforms into like this weird, disgusting sort of whip arm thing. It's kind of gross, but it, it's pretty cool. You know, you can't hate. I don't, I really don't know where that Bloodstar Beast went. That was crazy. I didn't even get the souls for it. So it's definitely sitting on some plane of existence below the floor. Okay. Cool. So continuing with the River of Blood here, uh, we are going to, oh, that might have been the souls from the Bloodstar Beast. So we have a choice. We can uh, run up those stairs or we can sort of go through. Um, I'm going to attempt to kill as many of these things as I can. Yeah, so there's a there's a hunter up there with a with a gun. I don't know what else would he have? He's not sitting up there with daisies, you know. All right, so let let's go upstairs. Let's kill these guys. Just be careful. Oh. Oh my god. I really thought I sidestepped that. Okay. Where did the other guy go? Man, this blood liquor does not give up. We got him. We got him. As Obama says, I don't know what these, what's with these emotes, man. I really don't. Okay. So, now that we've done all of that, uh, yeah, we can come over here for some more blood liquor action. Uh, this is probably a mistake going in hard like this. Yikes, that was an awful mistake. I really should not have done that. If I get poisoned, it's okay. I don't really mind. Poison's not going to deal a ton of damage to me. Okay. Alright. I think this is just... I don't even know what they're guarding here. I, just, I don't really care. Yikes, dude. Also, do I have both knives out? I do, okay. It's a good movie, by the way. Ugh. Come on. Bruh. With a with a poison. Oh, that sucked. Okay, that's that's you. There you go. Okay, we got him. Great job, everybody. All right, we got the constable's trousers that they were guarding. So this is uh, Valter's set, or the Confederate set. You can also come in here. I don't exactly know what's down here, though. Okay, so we're going to come back here later. Never mind. There's a dog. I just want to get rid of this dog. There's actually a couple of them. Okay. Cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave here for now. Okay. So, there's one little area that I want to explore up here. That's back up here. Right. Okay. Very important area here. Let's check over here before we do this. Right. Great. 
the constable's gloves. Okay, good. So what we're about to do now is we're about to unlock a shortcut and meet a very important NPC for the DLC. So we're going to come down here, and you will notice a gentleman standing in the corner here with a lamp. This is Simon, and Simon is the seeker of secrets. So let's speak with him. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? Well, we're more alike than you think. This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. You've seen them before. Aimless, wandering hunters slavering like beasts. This is what the poor fools have to look forward to. So, don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. Oh yes, I see. You sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. As if the spirit of Bergenworth lives on within you. Such inquisitive hunters will relish the nightmare. But beware. Secrets are secrets for a reason. And some do not wish to see them uncovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Beware. Okay, so that is Simon. And Simon is just outside the door. This door should look vaguely familiar to you. Because this leads you back to the lamp. So, there's only one lamp in this area. <laughs> uh, we'll find another one soon enough, but it's a big area for one lamp. But now that we have that activated, um, I'm just going to continue on because I'm pretty sure we can make it to the next lamp, no problem. We'll pick up files along the way. I just don't want to deal with all the blood lickers again. Okay, so we're going to continue on down here. And we will run into Simon uh, another time. He basically sort of follows us along in the DLC, giving us lore. Um, and then he also uh, meets up with another, D uh, another NPC later on. Okay. So, you may think that you should be able to walk up this. You cannot. Don't worry. Um, there's a number of crows in this area. Along with uh, some hunters. So, just beware. So, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to find a ladder. Yeah, and homeboy's here, so... Gotta watch out for him. Oh. Oh, what? How did that not happen? Okay. He's dead. That was weird. I guess I was too far away. My timing was a little off. Okay, very good. So, really weird that some of these corpses are actually alive. Um, you can hit them if you want. Doesn't doesn't do anything. They don't actually... Maybe they do die? No, they, they keep coming back. It's just like an animated corpse pile. Oh, whoops. I really was not expecting anybody to be there. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so we're actually going to find... The reason I wanted to come over here was tell you that this item is found on the other side. So we have to approach it from a different angle. Let's go work on that. And yeah, more crows fall. Same thing for that one over there. All right. Let's come on up here. Okay. Great. And then if we drop down here, we're going to fight a hunter who's using the old hunter's bone. So this is a tough fight. Uh, this is a kill once hunter. So once he's dead, he's dead. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go for it. There he is. So the old hunter's bone allows him to quick step. Just like that. Uh, but since he's an old hunter, he doesn't have to actually cast the spell. He just has it. And he has the, the safe, which is a cool weapon. It's sort of like the precursor to the saw spear. God damn. I think I'm just gonna go after him. Yeah, he's got a lot of stamina though, so 
Or a lot of boys, rather. Should be dead. Yep. Alright, so that's the old the, the beast safe hunter, as people like to refer to him as. It's a bit of a challenge. He drops some blood vials, a vermin, and then he is guarding the beast hunter safe. So the beast hunter safe is an interesting weapon. It's like I said, it's sort of like the precursor to the saw spear. Um so not the saw spear. I guess maybe the saw, the saw spear and the hunter's saw, I think it's called. Whatever that starting weapon is. I actually haven't used that starting weapon since I first played the game. Uh, I quickly found out that I made the wrong choice and that the axe is way better. Anyway, it's sort of the precursor to that. Okay, so in this area, uh, it's another river of blood. No blood letters this time. But uh, there are some big boy enemies. And you can see one wandering right there. And that guy actually has the church cannon, which is a handheld cannon. So you have to be very, very careful with him. Yep. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run past him. And I'm I'm going to activate it another shortcut. So we're going to come over here. And we're going to go this way instead. Alright, so there's a lamp right here. Great. And similar to... Um, when you go to Old Yarnum, uh, you go down a staircase underneath the sarcophagus. Another wandering nightmare here. But be careful, because there's a hunter in this area. And you can actually see his shadow, which I always thought was so, so gnarly. So he's right there. And if you, like, wander over here, you can see his shadow. And it's just sort of like an oh sh Yeah, there it is. So his shadow's right there, and it's sort of like an oh shit sort of moment. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, there's a hunter. Like, where is he? But you can just shoot him off of his little perch here. Nope. Oh, what? Dude. Why does that keep happening? That's like the fifth time, maybe like the tenth time that's happened. Anyway, he drops a blood gem usually. And then, oh, another vermin. Very cool. I didn't realize he was a red eye hunter. All right, so we can come over here now, grab a couple twin bloodstone shards, and then we are going to fall into a pit of crows, so just just watch out for that. Actually, it's probably better to approach instead of just dropping right in. I have died to crows before, so... Never underestimate the, the crows. Oh boy. Alright, so these guys are just guarding blood vials. But the important thing over here, and... You know what's kind of funny is... Alright, so the important thing is when we go this way. And I'm, I'm watching the sky for a reason here. And that's because... That falls out of the sky. I guess I wasn't able to see it. So, this thing is kind of unimportant for now. But keep in mind that it fell out of the sky. And it's in a shell that, you know, has like barnacles all over it. And it's it's something from the, the sea, almost. But remember, it fell from the sky. And we're going to figure that out much later. Okay, so this weapon here is the Whirligig Saw. And holy shit, do I have a treat for you. This weapon is bananas. So, with the Whirligig Saw, can I level this up? Is this good for me? No, it's, it's strength scaling. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. So the Whirligig Saw in its untransformed state, you just sort of have this club that you know you can just smack people with, nothing major. But then the transformed state, it turns into a fucking saw. And you can do all sorts of fun things with the saw. The transformed, um, is it transformed L2? Yeah, the transformed L2 is just the lawnmower. So this is pretty fun. If you're fighting an enemy that has low stagger or uh, low poise, then you kind of just get to go nuts on it. 
If you upgrade it, it's really strong against bosses like Rom the Vacuous Spider, who sort of stay still for a while and maybe just rely on magic. Um, it's a really, really fun weapon, and it's actually quite good. Um, there were several uh, weapons put into the Old Hunters DLC that really aren't that great, um, but trust me, the uh, the Whirligig Saw is is a treat. Okay, so now we got to fight these guys. And I would like to do that without... Can I just shoot this guy from here? Oh, I'm out of bullets. Okay, that's not good. Alright, I'd like to fight one without the other, if at all possible. No, this isn't gonna happen. Can he reach me? He can't reach me. So I think what we're going to have to do... Yeah, that, that can reach me. We just got to go nuts on him. Oh my god, he's got so much health. Okay, great. We got him. Whew, man, that was that was rough. Okay. Six blood vials, not bad. Alright, so now let's go mess with this guy. Pick up this treasure here. Ye old madman's knowledge. He can use the the gun as a weapon. Like he, he can hit you with it. Yep, just like that. See, so you, you do have to watch out for that. One of my favorite things in Bloodborne is seeing other people. It's like one of my favorite from software things is the transient phantoms. I, I just love seeing it, especially in populated areas like this. It's just so good. Sometimes I like to wave to him. Do little emotes, see if he'll do it back. No? Okay, that's okay. Nice, picked up some bullets. Okay, so back here, I'm pretty sure is another one of those big guys. Um, if I'm not mistaken. This is the Butcher Mask, or the Butcher Set, and that is from the Madeiras Twins. So we already picked up one of the Madeiras Twins armor set, um, and that was from um, the, the Forbidden Woods. So there's the other one. Okay, so over here there's a Witch of Hemwick. Very important that you kill her. And then there is an enemy here that I want to show you. This guy banging on the gates here. He lives a very sad existence. This is all he does. But he has a guaranteed drop of five blood vials. So if you ever need to farm blood vials, that's your guy. Just go hang out with him. And luckily the lamp is really close. Um, since I have 24 vials, I'm going to go ahead and fight the boss. We'll see how it goes, see how many attempts it takes. Okay, so before I get started here, this boss is Ludwig the Accursed. And Ludwig is actually a two-phase fight. He's a beast, and then he's a bipedal maniac. So the first fight, you're basically just fighting a four-legged wolf sort of beast. He can spit this cosmic acid at you that you don't want to get hit by. It deals a lot of damage. He can also jump and sort of attach himself to the ceiling. And then you will notice a sort of like trail of blood following you. The trick for this is to just run in one direction, and then he will fall behind you. Um, he is not easy. I'm going to warn you right now. You may want to summon help for this. If you do, there's um, there are some cooperators that can help you. I think you can summon Valter for this. I'm not really sure why his lamp isn't appearing. You may need to be in the, uh, in the League Covenant in order to make that happen. Uh, but you can summon him. And then there's another old Hunter Bell um, right where we found the uh, that armor set. Uh, you can summon one of the Madeiras twins for that. Um, so you can have two two cooperators with you, which is helpful. Okay, let's get started. Also, there is an NPC in this room. This guy right here is talking to you. If you manage to keep him alive throughout the fight, which is borderline impossible, you get some secret dialogue, 
it's nothing major. Actually, I actually don't even think it's anything even lore. <laughs> it's it's just a conversation. Um, but it's a little Easter egg if you leave him if you make it so he lives. But it's, it's quite hard. But this is Lawrence or uh, Ludwig, sorry. And Ludwig is a disgusting beast. Okay. So that head with eyes and a mouth, um, that is the one that sort of spits the cosmic acid at you. So you want to watch out for that. All right. So Ludwig has, yeah, a lot of these lunge attacks that are really frustrating to deal with. Don't lock on to him. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's just it's just sort of the kind of fight where, at least for the beginning, you just kind of got to get used to his patterns. God. And do your best to stay under him, but he has a donkey kick that you got to watch out for. So we're going to back up now. Yep, there it is. He can also charge at you if you're not careful. There's the cosmic acid. But you can hit him in that head, and that head is a weak point. He screams a lot, which, you know, is annoying. I'm surprised he hasn't done the charge. The charge is like a almost instant death. It's kind of sucks. But you you can stagger him. It's just it's just hard. He's got a lot of poise. I do love how you can like hear him screaming as he's doing that spit. I think that's kind of nuts. For the most part, you want to focus on the fleshy bits, but. Once you get him down to 50%, I'm going to be honest with you, this is going a lot better since I'm level 158. Um, but once he hits 50%, his Guiding Moonlight shows up. Ah, you were at my side all along. My true... So there you go. This is Ludwig, the first vicar now. So he fights completely different, and he has the Moonlight Greatsword. From Demon Souls to Bloodborne, this sword is always in these games, and I love it. It's actually in Kingsfield as well. I think it's called the Holy Sword of Moonlight in Kingsfield, though. All right, so the Holy Sword of Moonlight has... Um, he can slash, and as long as you stay close, you're generally pretty safe. Um, it also has like a sonic boom sort of attack. And then he has this madness. You want to back away from this. You don't want to get hit with that. That's really strong. And the music kicks in, and it's, it's just all good. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, for, I was aiming for the head. He is a kin enemy, so uh, viscerals are very damaging to him. Yeah, so now that this is powered up and I'm far away, he's got some attacks. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my God. Am I dead? Holy shit. That was absolutely crazy. So he's got these beams. Those are easy enough to dodge. Man, the music kicks in and just goes nuts. It's so good. But as long as you stay close, you're okay. Oh, can we end it with the Visceral? Hell yeah, we can. So that's Ludwig the Holy Blade. Again, being level 158 makes this so much easier. So, there you go. Oh my god, he's alive. What? Did my trophies from the DLC not pass over? What? That was weird. That's very strange. Maybe there's a PS5 bug. Anyway, um, back to the game. So you get the guidance rune from him, the guidance rune, but we're not actually done just yet. Wow, he stayed alive. Oh my god. Okay, great. So let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say.
So I'm just trying to really quick see if it just laughs or if it's if it actually gives us anything. Anyway, we're not we're not done yet. So um So Okay. So I guess it doesn't really do anything. Um yeah, he just laughs. Okay, no problem. So, let's go ahead and light the lamp, and you'll notice that Ludwig's head is over here. And if you speak with him, he won't really talk to you, because you've slain him. Good hunter, have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair, a fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. So, yeah, he doesn't really say much to you, and then he just sort of starts going a little crazy. But if we were to change our attire and wear any church set, so either black, white, or gas coins set, uh, he will talk to you some more. Let's go ahead and change our set. Unfortunately, all that blood gets washed away. But now his dialogue changes to something very, very important. Tell me, good hunter of the church, have you seen the light? Are my church hunters the honorable Spartans? I hoped they would be. Ah, good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you kindly. Now I may sleep in peace. Even in this darkest of nights, I see the moonlight. Okay, so Ludwig finally passes away, and we get the Holy Moonlight Sword. And this is the Moonlight Greatsword of Bloodborne. So, okay, I can wield it. Great. So, if we transform it, we get the full-on thing, and we get to throw those sonic booms, just as Ludwig did. You do have to wait for it to recharge for a little bit. There you go. And then the L2 is the forward thrust. Anyway, so that's uh, Ludwig, that is the Holy Sword of Moonlight, and that is the first section of the DLC. So what I'll show you now is I'll show you how to re-enter the DLC and access the lamps. So everything is still in the Hunter's Dream, and this is just an, an interesting little tidbit that I like to point out to people. So let's go ahead and level up really fast. Wow, I need 30,000. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, this should be enough. Yeah. Gammon away. Okay. Very well, Ned. Okay, very good. So all of the uh, Hunter's Nightmare lamps can be accessed from this gravestone right here. So we have the Hunter's Nightmare, Nightmare Church, and the Underground Corpse Pile. That's Ludwig's room. Um, interestingly enough, throughout the main game, uh, before this point, so before the end of the game, you will sometimes notice that the doll is praying at this gravestone. And before the DLC came out, this just seemed like a random gravestone. Uh, but they, when they added the DLC, this became the, the portal for the DLC. So I thought that was really cool. Now uh, let's go ahead and change back to the old Hunter set. Keep it alive. All right, so that's it for part 22 of the walkthrough. Back to the fun stuff. We're done with the Chalice Dungeons. This is going a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, like I said, my first time through the DLC was on New Game Plus 4. So I was getting my ass kicked for quite a while. Um, 
But having done the Chalice Dungeons, we're sort of flying through this now. I really cannot believe we got Ludwig on the first shot, being totally honest. Um, but for now, we will end it here. In the next section, we will go through the... Uh, what is this place called? Not the lecture hall. The... What is this place called? The research hall. We're going to go through the research hall, and we're going to fight two bosses there. Um, it's literally a back-to-back -back boss fight, so there's kind of no point in waiting. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. But for now, that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Bloodborne, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.